Welcome to Mediocre Gaming, and today we're playing Deep Rock Galactic. Well, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I'm Zero. Let's get to it. So today we're doing the deep dive, codenamed Deep Needle. But before we get to that, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button, and ring that bell to be notified of all future episodes as soon as they go live. So let's get into it. First stage of the deep dive has regenerative bugs, salvage mini mules, and collect alien eggs. Now the mini mules you'll see and hear as you get close to them, they're a pulsing uh, green light. Go over and scan them, and then all of the legs are going to be on the terrain scanner, and they will pull slightly in a white light. So if you can't see them immediately, uh, at least you'll be able to see them on the terrain scanner. And you have to do both the, of the mini mules the same way. So regenerative bugs, of course, means that the bugs, if you don't take them out, they're going to start regenerating their health just like Wolverine. So make sure that you take them out. Once you have all the legs attached to a mini mule, then you can repair it and it'll start to function once again. Once you do that with both of them, then you're almost ready to go. You still need those alien eggs. So you want to look for that glowing organic mass on the sides of the level. Get to it however you can, and then dig in towards that uh, pulsing red light, and that'll tell you where the egg is at. Once you get the egg out, you can drop it into the side of the derelict drop pod or into the mule. It's up to you, whatever works best in your situation. Now, once you have all the mini mules repaired and all the alien eggs, then you're ready to get out or almost ready to get out. Since this is a full salvage mission, you'll have to do everything that you do in a normal salvage mission. So you have to tell the mules, uh, all of them, to go back to the drop pod, but you only have to do it for the main mule. And then you have to repair the uplink. That's a zone control. The more people you have in the zone, the faster it'll go. The fewer people the slower it'll go and if nobody's in that uh, sphere then you start losing progress rapidly and of course take out any bugs that are coming after you not because they are going to impede your progress because they are going to try to impede your life so make sure you take care of the bugs before they get close to the circle and that'll just make it a little bit easier on you once that uplink is complete you're almost ready to go you have to refuel the derelict drop pod apparently it leaks fuel if it's just sitting there so you have to call in or the fuel cells will be called in you have to attach it to the side of the drop pod there's only one spot on the back of the drop pod uh, reattach it and then prep the fuel cells so it'll start refueling that drop pod now it's the same thing as before it's a zone control keep as many people in the sphere as possible as long as possible and keep the bugs out now once you have both of those complete then you're ready to go well almost after you have it refueled you'll have to wait another minute and a half that's a full 90 seconds before you can get out so you can run around the level or you can defend the drop pod, whatever you want to do, uh, depending on what your situation is. If you've picked up a lot of nitro, then you can just sit there and defend. But once the countdown is complete, you're going to want to be close to that drop pod because you will only have one minute to get out. So make sure that you are close to the drop pod once that countdown gets to zero so you can get on and get out. This is a good time to point out that the deep dive is a raid-like environment with three stages, which you can do by yourself with your buddy Bosco or with up to three other players, either pre-made or match-made. So that's it for stage number one. Let's get on with stage number two. 
All right, stage number two of the deep dive. This time around, you have refining liquid morkite, collecting a black box, and the modifier this time around is Mac Terra Plague, which means you're going to see a lot more flyers than usual. So you make sure you keep your eyes on the sky to look for those guys, especially in the beginning, as there tends to be a ton of enemies coming at you as soon as you get in. Now the black box will have a green glow to it, uh, much like the mini mules in the previous level. And like the last level, it acts very much like uh, when you're trying to get out of the level. So uplink, you have to re uh, get the space rig and the up and the black box synced, and it's a zone control just like it was in the last time. So get keep as many people in the circle as possible, as long as possible until you get up to 100%. The fewer people that are in there, the slower it'll go, and of course, if nobody's in there, you start losing progress rapidly. If you get down to 0%, then you lose. You failed the deep dive and you'll have to start over from the first stage. Hopefully that doesn't happen. So look for those plumes of smoke and blue fire. Call in the pump jack. And then, once that happens, you connect the pipeline framework uh, to those pump jacks. And there's going to be three. Every uh, liquid morkite level has three so you call in three pump jacks build out the framework from the rig to each pump jack and of course on this stage there is no mule so you'll have to bring everything back to the rig in order to deposit it so get the framework built out uh, as best you can, depending on what job that you're playing. It could be a little bit easier or a little bit tougher. This is where the driller really shines. Once you have it connected, then you can build out the pipeline to the pump jack. And as I said before, you'll have to do that for each of the three pump jacks. Call on three pump jacks. Do the framework for each pump jack, and then of course build the pipeline for each. Once you have all of that done, then you can start refining the liquid morkite. It won't let you do that until you do the black box, so it doesn't matter up until this point if you do the black box or when you want to do it. But before you can start refining, you will have to complete the black box objective. Now at some point you're going to have leaks in the pipeline, you're going to see them. Uh, the pipeline is going to be blinking red, and then the leaks are going to be like a plume, and there's you're going to see the liquid morkite just leaking out. You're going to have to go over and repair each one of these leaks before you can progress any further. So you want to go ahead and get out there and get that taken care of as quickly as possible so that you can progress in the stage. Now while you're doing any stage, on all stages of the deep dive, make sure you're keeping your eyes open for gold and nitra. Gold of course will add credits to the end of the deep dive. Nitra will keep you flush with ammo and grenades and traversal tools, so make sure that you're doing that. Once you get up to 100%, then you can send all that delicious liquid morkite up to the space rig and call in a drop pod. It'll only take about 30 seconds to a minute uh, once you send it up for the drop pod to come in, and then just make your way to the drop pod and make your way out. Now even after you've called or sent up the uh, liquid morkite. Still keep your eyes open for any gold nitro deposits that are on the level, anything that you might have missed, and go ahead and mine those. And this is a good time to point out that uh, when things get hairy at the end of one of the stages of the deep dive, everything carries over from one stage to the next. That includes your health, your ammo, grenades, traversal tools, and whatever's in your pocket. So if you've picked up gold nitra, but you didn't have time to deposit it because everything was getting a little crazy, 
either in the mule or the drop pod before you leave a stage, it'll carry over to the next one. So it's not a big deal unless you're on the final stage. So then you'll want to make sure that you deposit before you get out. All right, once the drop pod drops in, all you have to do is make your way to it, uh, which sometimes is easier said than done, depending on where uh, they place the drop pod. So depending on what your job is, what job uh, everyone else on your team has, it could be uh, relatively easy or a little bit more difficult. So make your way out. And that is it for stage number two. Already two thirds of the way there, ready to get on to stage number three. All right, the final stage of the deep dive has low gravity, something that's gonna work in your favor this time. In addition, you're going to have crystallized Morkite and collecting alien eggs. Alien eggs, the uh, theme of the deep dive this week. So low gravity, of course, means that you're going to be not taking as much fall damage, and you're going to jump farther and higher than normal. Of course, the alien eggs, you're going to look for that organic material on the stage, and then, of course, just dig into it towards that red pulsing light towards the egg. Once you pop it out, then just drop it in the mule and move on with your mission. Now, even if you don't spawn a swarm every egg that you pop out of the wall uh, has a chance of popping a, a swarm or spawning a swarm but even if you don't you will ha spawn some enemies and you'll have to deal with them and it just shows that the bugs don't really like it when you take their eggs so grab the eggs deposit in the mule move on now, in addition to having a chance of spawning a swarm, you also have regular swarms which will pop up every so often. So, of course, each stage, you don't want to tarry too long on any of them. But certainly when you're having extra swarms, uh, hopefully you'll have plenty of nitro to call in extra resupplies as needed uh, either when you're running low or on ammo and or if your health uh, needs a little bit of a boost since the resupply pods will help with that of course crystallized morkite you're going to look for that gray blue glow on the level and then just dig it like any other mineral and once you have all of the alien eggs and all of the morkite then you're done and you're ready to get out. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to check us out on social media. And thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And we'll see you next time. Hit the button on the mule and we'll send in the drop pod. Nitro has been withdrawn and supply pod is inbound. Ready to kill someone. That's how you do it. Drop pod is on the way. Drop pod arrived. Mule is returning to LZ. Drop pod departing in T minus five minutes. Did you borrow my underwear? One sentry gun ready to be built. Sentry off. Bacall! Resupply order. Rock and stone. Stand back. Supply pod inbound. Go back to the drop. Explosive. Resupply arrived. Resupply order. Supply pod launched. Better stand back. Hang in there. Supplies are on the way. Supply pod requisitioned. Launching now. Drop pod departing in T minus four minutes. The mule's been successfully retrieved. Make it snappy, team. The drop pod won't hang around forever. Retrieving 
escape pod. Come on, guys! Oh, rock and stone! For rock and stone! Rock on! Thank you.